everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy Bashore. if you're new here. I am an outdoor obsessed adventure woman who is married to a professional angler, has two teen kids and two German short haired dogs and I'm here to help you learn to live peacefully with them as I've learned to do. So I'm just sharing a few tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, hopefully helping you so that you don't have to do the trial and error that I've done over the years since getting my first. I want to talk today about grooming. So a recent question I got was what kinds of tools do I use to groom my two German short hairs? And thankfully of all the high maintenance things that they are, grooming is extremely low maintenance. So I am extremely thankful for that. So we keep it simple around here. This is Berkeley. Berkeley likes to be on camera. Everybody say hi to Berkeley. Hi Berkeley. <laughs> So let's first talk about the most obvious is these boys like to get dirty and they like tummy rubs too. But these boys like to get dirty so bathing them becomes important. I only bathe them if they get dirty or if they start to feel oily. So usually at least once a month. Um, in the summers or during hunting season it's a little bit more but not too much more. Um, so what you're going to need is a really good like dog wash. I usually use an oatmeal wash because it's good and moisturizing for their skin. In our climate up here in South Dakota, it can get dry in the winter. And so we want to make sure we have something that's moisturizing for their skin. So I use an oatmeal dog wash. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. A lot of times I just buy a generic version at Target. Um, but I actually recently ran out and I did some research and found out that you can also use a vino fragrance free oatmeal uh, body wash and uh, that's what I buy for my daughter so I actually have been using this for the last month and it works really well it's fragrance free super um, good for their skin moisturizing um, and so it's really good so sometimes like I said in the winter it gets really dry here um, if the dogs need a little bit more more moisture we have oh they can't see it buddy we have an oatmeal spray that we use it's from American Kennel Club and it's just an oatmeal soothing spray that we will spray on their, just kind of all over their fur, usually their backs, their tummies, where it gets really dry. Um, but we don't use that very often, just if it's a dry climate. Um, one of the other things that we have purchased is something to clip their nails with. Now, I typically don't do the nail clipping because I'm always too afraid that I'm going to get too close to what's called the quick and then they're going to bleed. Um, so my husband does it or the place that we take them to when we don't take them on trips with us um, at the kennel, she will sometimes clip them for us too, which is wonderful. But we do have a nail clipper here. Um, you just have to make sure you do some research on how to do it well so that you don't make them bleed because that would make me very sad. Do you like that, buddy? <laughs> no, he does not like that. Okay, and then one of the other things that we find most important, can you sit down? No, no, can you sit? Come on, sit down. There, that's a good boy, okay. One of the other things that we find important is a toothbrush. Now, these are probably, he's gonna get his teeth brushed here in just a second, but these are probably not as important in my opinion. We don't do it a ton. Berkeley here has really great teeth, and if I can get him to show you, I'll show you here in just a second. Um, but he has really great teeth. We have a regular toothbrush that has two different ends, but we also have the finger one. I like the finger one because I think it's easier to feel that I'm actually getting his teeth. He's pretty pumped about getting his toothbrush. He actually just really likes the toothpaste. So we'll do that here in just a second so you can see me brush his teeth because it probably needs to be done. But a lot of times I buy like toothbrush treats um, and those will take care of the job as well. Just kind of giving them something gritty to go against their teeth. Um, but Berkeley here has really pretty teeth. Benny has great teeth too, but he has one tooth that is just a little bit gnarly, but the vet says it's fine, so we don't worry about it too much yet. Um, one other tool, one other tool that we have, we do have a brush. Berkeley, come on, man. Come on, sit down. Good boy, sit down. Sit, sit, good boy. We do have a brush, but short hairs have short hair. You're not brushing anything. This is not a golden retriever where you need to get the snarls out and, and all of that. They just want to eat the brush. So we don't brush them all that often. They shed a lot, so I am sweeping my floors, but in terms of brushing them because they need to be brushed, hey, no, 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 no. You just stole the toothbrush thing. <laughs> no, God. But in terms of brushing them, I'm gonna hide it, just a minute. But in terms of brushing them, come here. Should we brush? No. <laughs> we don't do it very often, so honestly, they don't even really know what's happening. Um, we do it sometimes if we feel like they're itchy and they in it to help get anything kind of into No, you can't have it. No, you can't have it. No, you can't have it. It's mine It's mine. Yeah, can you say hi? <laughs> yeah 
So we have Bentley right here. Berkeley is over here. Berkeley is four years old, but he acts like a puppy. So he's so naughty and he's always into things. And this little tail is always going. Nobody wants to see your butt, buddy. Sit down. Good job. <laughs> so we have a brush, but honestly, it sits underneath our cabinet. We don't use it all that often. So I would say, what did you just take? No. So I would say that your important things are some sort of wash. This is number one. Just get something that is soothing for their skin. He really wants the toothbrush. Get yourself some sort of toothbrush so that you're able to kind of work at their teeth if anything needs to be taken care of, and then a nail clipper, but do your research on the nail clipper to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're clipping their nails so that you don't make them bleed. Those are your three most important things for a happy dog. German short hairs are low maintenance when it comes to grooming. That's probably about it. <laughs> but uh, happy grooming. Keep those short hairs clean. Take them on those adventures. Give them a bath. They're happy little doggies. Have a good day, guys. Bye.